Hi everyone, it's Sarah again. Um, so it's time to make another craft. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little picture frame. Now, it's not quite a picture frame, is it? Um, it's more of a decorative piece in a picture frame. So the first thing, obviously, is the picture frame. So um, I got this at my local art store. Um, it didn't come green. It was just piece of wood type thing and I actually really like this because it caves in right here um, it does not have glass in it <coughs> so that's the first thing um, the second thing you will want is the paint for it now it's up to you you can either spray paint it or I um, used actually this folk art acrylic paint because I wanted it to have a a rougher look on it so I painted it on with a brush like a bigger brush um, yeah if you want to spray paint it um, instead I would get the painters touch and just make sure that it'll bond with wood next you're gonna need um, your finishing spray now I use this for a lot of my crafts um, it's just a matte finish um, you've seen it before if you watch my other videos but It'll just help everything stay on. You'll also need scrap of paper. Now I got the Chevron gold print. Can you see it? Because it's really cute. Um, now you can pick any design that you want. I thought it would match the green paint that I did as well as the color that I was going to make for the design. The next thing you need to get is actually the design that you're going to put in it. You can do a picture if you want, but I decided not to because it doesn't have glass and it won't really protect the picture very well. Um, so it's up to you. But I got a cute little anchor from the wood section in my art store. And because I got an anchor, I thought that it would look really cute with some twill wrapped around it, as you can see. That's You'll also need a hot glue gun, um, some regular tape or glue and a paintbrush. Now step one is to actually go ahead and paint your pieces. So for your frame, whichever one you got, go ahead and spray paint it or paint it um, the color that you want it to be. Let it dry completely. Now on mine, I painted not only the front, the inside edges, but I also painted the back and under the standy thing. I don't know if there's a technical word for it. While yeah. you're waiting for that to dry, you can go ahead and, if you got a wood piece like I did, go ahead and paint that. Um, now I use spray paint for this little wood anchor, and I just used my blue because I really like the blue and green together. Once your frame is done drying, you're going to want to go ahead and add on your background. So take your scrapbook paper, take out the back of your frame, like so like just mine won't move now because I sprayed it down but um, just take the back out and size it cut your um, scrapbook paper to the size of the back and go ahead and tape or glue it down I glued now I don't know if this is a step that you'll be needing or not but um, after your design is dried or your wood cut out is completely dried um, go ahead and wrap the twine around it um, if you decided to get twine, it's completely up to you. Now it's time to use the hot glue. So go ahead and put, I put hot glue at the top and bottom of this anchor to make sure it stayed secure. And I went ahead and centered it in the picture. Um, and I really am happy with the outcome. And it's a really cute decorative piece. Um, mine currently hangs in my bathroom because I kind of have a nautical theme going on in there. Um, but you can use it for anything. You can use it as a gift, or you can sell them and make some money. You know, whatever you want. This has been another great craft idea from Sarah. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And if you tried this, I'd love to see how it turned out for you. Go. Bye!